Let's watch Park and Pipe World Cup roared back into life this weekend with the second of four snowboard big air contests of the 2022-2023 season. The venue was the Commonwealth Stadium in Edmonton, Alberta in Canada. The world's best were in attendance in front of a boisterous crowd and the best snowboarders on the planet did not disappoint. His third on the night went to the Japanese superstar Leila Iwabuchi. She fell on run one but on run three landed a 7.20 to move on to the podium. Second place and a first World Cup podium belong to Belgian youngster Evi Pop. The rapidly improving rider landed a huge frontside 7.20 to make second place her own. No doubt the first of many World Cup podiums in her career. Jasmine Baird was one of the big favourites coming in and she did not disappoint. Opening the contest with a massive cab double underflip on run one, the victory was already confirmed before run three. Baird still threw down with a back seven for a total score of 159.5 and her first ever World Cup win. What a night for Baird, getting her first World Cup win and all the sweeter with it coming on Canadian snow. This like honestly means so much to me, like you said, first World Cup first and my dad's here watching. I'm just so stoked that like this is the first time he's seen me in person in contest. So I'm just so hyped that he was here for this one. And A little later in the evening it was the turn of the men and the expected crowd was hoping for big things from snowboard legends Mark McMorris and Marcus Cleveland. In the end neither could hit the podium. One man who did was Nicolas Laframpard. The 22 year old from Quebec went wild with a back triple 1620 Weddle on run three to take third. Chris Corning from the USA finished in second. He lit up the contest on run one with a stunning back triple 18. If it was a one run contest, that would have won it. But in the best two out of three, he needed one more and landed a front 14 to grab his spot on the podium. The night, however, belonged to one man, Valentino Guzzelli from Australia. The 17 year old is a triple threat in height, slope and now big air and recorded his first World Cup win in style. Front double 14 and back triple 16 brought Guzzelli the win to chance of Aussie, Aussie, Aussie from the crowd. Swatch Parker Pipe World Cup moves on to Copper Mountain, Colorado in the USA on the 16th and 17th of December for the first half pipe of the season and third big air contest. And all eyes will be on Valentino Guzzelli. I'm just so relieved and so happy. It's been a a long and very bumpy road the last three years trying to um, work my way to some podiums and I finally got a win and